Duly noted for 26, 2015. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Dooley. I'm here in the amazing Grenada, West Indies, uh, on a teaching stint at St. George's University Medical School. And what I wanted to show you today was uh, a way to be able to improve wrist health. The wrist is a very vulnerable joint. Uh, it is extremely mobile, and but seeks more stability. And in someone like me, a chiropractor, we tend to put a lot of pressure onto our wrists, especially in extension. And since we are kind of a flexion-based society, we need to learn how to be able to balance uh, wrist extension with flexion and trying to maintain as much neutrality in the wrist as possible to prevent it from injury. Uh, a susceptible area of discomfort in the wrist are the most lateral and medial parts. Uh, it's very important to be able to protect the hand from too much radial deviation, which is this way, abduction, or too much ulnar deviation, uh, which is this way, adduction. When you're trying to improve wrist health and trying to prepare yourself for things like wrist extension under load, you want to make sure you first warm up the joints. So, uh, mobilizing the wrist in both ulnar and radial deviation as well as flexion and extension. Flexion, extension, ulnar deviation, radial deviation. Starting to rotate, get, interlock the fingers, mobilize in that way. And when you're preparing for load, you take the hands onto the ground and you corkscrew them into the ground, meaning you first put the weight onto the thumb side and then you act like you're screwing the wrists into the ground. This will put you into a more of a neutral position. If wrist extension is not yet comfortable for you, you can tent up the fingers like so. As you tent, you put your wrist into a little bit more flexion. That'll help you approach more of a neutral wrist position. Start to lean yourself forward across the wrist and go in each direction to see if you have a linchpin of discomfort. If you have an area that's uncomfortable, you can do one of two methods. You can start to lean into it to see if it improves. If it does not improve, perhaps you need to corkscrew your hand into the opposite direction to improve your comfort. As you start to rotate and feel yourself through the wrists, you will increase your ability to be able to mobilize. The important thing is to not let your elbows cave, to not cave down like this, but to keep your elbows relatively straight and to push the weight away from your hands. This will help you to stabilize over the shoulder as you share the load between the wrist, elbows, and shoulder. Once you feel comfortable with that motion, you can work into more quadruped motions and shift the weight between four major points the knees and hands. If you're comfortable enough to go onto the toes, then shift the weight into six points by going into the toes. The more that you start to work through the wrist ranges of motion, the more comfortable you'll become. And then we can do weight bearing exercises like handstands, pelvic rocking, crawling with much more comfort. Hopefully this was helpful. And if you have any questions, please email me at drkathydooley at gmail.com.